I want to help you find your perfect person in under five minutes. Hey, what's up you guys? I'm Andrew and today I'm here to help you find your dream person. So what we're going to do is we're going to make three lists. I know you might be saying, Andrew, I don't have time or I don't want to do that. I, I don't care. It doesn't matter. You need to do it. So in this first list, what we're going to do is write down all of the physical characteristics that you envision this person to have. So maybe it's their height, maybe it's their hair color, maybe it's their eye color. Whatever it is, go ahead and write it down. So in the second list, what you're going to do is you're going to write down non-negotiable things. So characteristics within that person that are non-negotiable. So maybe if they have good integrity, or if they want children, or if they are funny, what, whatever really means a lot to you that you absolutely cannot live without this person having. So, so far I've had you write two lists and it's really important because it's important to distinguish the differences between things that are non-negotiable and things that are negotiable. A lot of people will write out or mentally write out lists of what their dream person is like in their head but they don't ever separate the differences. So when they go out looking for people, they're, they're trying to collectively find everything rather than looking specifically and narrow, narrowing down the things that are really important to them. Now, if you were paying attention, you'll realize that there's still one more list to write, and this is actually the most important list towards finding somebody. What I want you to do is to sit down and think about that person that you just made up in your head the values that they had, and maybe partially what they look like, you know, if they're healthy, whatever it is, and think about the kind of person that they would want to date. Now start writing down the kind of person they would want to date, and I can guarantee you a lot of those big rocks that you wrote down are going to sink up. If you wrote you want somebody that's honest, they're probably going to want somebody that's honest as well. If you wrote down somebody that's confident, they're probably going to want somebody that's confident as well. But write those big ones down. And then go ahead and put a little checkbox down every single one of them. Look at yourself and see if you can check off every one of those boxes because I can almost guarantee you, you probably can't. Be completely honest with yourself. If you put down that they need to be respectful, think about how respectful you are to other people. And I mean think down deep because I'm telling you right now, if you gossip at all with your friends, with whatever, that is not being respectful. That is not being honest. That's not having good integrity. That one simple factor of just gossiping is, is taking away all of these elements that you're looking for in a person. I'm not trying to be negative here, I'm trying to say that there's room for growth. And you probably haven't found that person because you haven't been considering what kind of person are they looking for. This does not happen with everybody, but majority of people are always looking for somebody that's better than them, rather than trying to better themselves for a person. I feel like people constantly say, the minute you stop looking for somebody is the minute they come into your life. And I think a lot of that has to do with because instead of looking for that person, you're just focused on yourself and that's attractive to people. You're fixing yourself and you're working on yourself. And then that person happens to come along. It's not really that big of a coincidence if you think about it. I feel like the big issue is people keep looking for their Prince Charming when they're not Cinderella themselves. You can't be the ugly stepsister and be looking around for Prince Charming because it doesn't mean he's, he's out there. It's not, that's not the problem. The problem is that you are not Cinderella. That's great. This means that you have the opportunity to become Cinderella, you know? Focus on doing things like not gossiping or maybe getting more self-confidence. Whatever was on your checklist that you couldn't check off, just start working on those things. And I can guarantee you if you start really focusing on, okay, what in a person means the most to me and what can I work on in myself and you actually work on those things, you're going to find somebody. This is not a scientifically proven method, but I really do think that it will work if you do it. But that's about all I have for you guys today. I hope that you find your dream person. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.